Hi, I am Dr. Arsalan Khan and today we are going to describe bacteriophage. Bacteriophage may be defined as the group of viruses which infect bacteria are archi. Basically, bacteriophage are the group of viruses which can infect bacteria as well as archi. The term bacteriophage is composed of two words. The bacterio, it refers to the bacteria and phage means eater. So these are the phages or viruses which eat away the bacteria. Therefore, these are called bacteriophage. Bacteriophage are also called as phages, bacterial viruses or lambda. These are the three synonyms of the bacteriophage. The phages, bacterial viruses or lambda. Now the history or discovery of the bacteriophage. The bacteriophage was discovered by Frederick William Tort. Frederick William Tort, an English scientist in 1915 in Great Britain. So the forms of bacteriophage. The bacteriophage has three forms. First form is eicosahedral with tail. As we have mentioned in the diagram that the eicosahedral, eicosahedral means 20 faces. So the capsid of this bacteriophage has 20 faces along with tail. This is called eicosahedral phage with tail. The second form is eicosahedral without tail. And third form is filamentous phage. It's a filament like or fibrous phage. Like other viruses, bacteriophage also has two components. The genome which is enclosed in a protein coat or protective cover called capsid. Now here we will elaborate the structure of bacteriophage. Firstly, we classify the bacteriophage into three parts, the head, neck and tail. The first component, the head. The second one is neck and all these components, this is called the tail. Like other viruses, phage also has a genome, either DNA or RNA, but never both. It may be DNA or RNA. The DNA may be double stranded and RNA may be single stranded present in this bacteriophage. This RNA or DNA, this is called the genome of bacteriophage and it is enclosed in a protein coat called capsid. This protein coat capsid has 20 faces, so therefore it is called eicosahedral capsid having 20 faces. And this capsid, it is made up of capsomers and it is estimated that there are 200 to 2000 capsomers present in the capsid of the bacteriophage. Then there is the neck called collar, which is the site of attachment of the tail with head. The last component is tail. This is called the, the contractile sheath. It is called contractile sheath because it contracts while injecting the genome into the bacteria. This is the base plate from which the tail fibers arise. These small segments, these are called the spikes and these are the tail fibers. Spikes and tail fibers are specialized for attachment of the bacteriophage with the bacterial host. Now this contractile sheath, it contains the annular rings, the annular rings present in the contractile sheath and it is estimated that there are 24 annular rings which are present in the contractile sheath of the bacteriophage. And it has also been determined that this bacteriophage, it is made up of 12 to 14 types of proteins. Now we will discuss the occurrence of the bacteriophage. Bacteriophage are the most abundant organisms present on the earth. These are found everywhere where the bacteria exist, in the oceans, water bodies, land and even in the living organisms. Everywhere where the bacteria exist, the bacteriophage is also present there. So the bacteriophage occurs anywhere where the bacteria exist and it is the most abundant even than the bacteria itself. As you know that the bacteriophage is a large group of viruses comprising thousands of the phages and these are classified under different families. For example, the myoviridae, cyphoviridae, podoviridae, tectiviridae, rudiviridae and cystoviridae etc. Now the types of the bacteriophage, there are lots of types of the bacteriophage but these three are very much important. This one is T2 phage, it infects the enterobacteria. T4 phage, it infects the Escherichia coli, Escherichia coli, also called as E. coli. And M13 bacteriophage, it also infects the enterobacteria. And finally, the uses of bacteriophage. The bacteriophage are used as alternative to the antibiotics by the Soviet Union. Bacteriophage serve as the vector for gene transfer in genetic engineering for the transfer of desired gene from one organism to the bacteria for genetic engineering and gene cloning. 
These are also used for biological production, for example, the production of enzymes, hormones, antibiotics, insulin, etc. The bacteriophage are used primarily. These are also used in biotechnology because these have bactericidal effects and these can kill or destroy the bacterial structures. So the bacteriophage has a lot of applications in the field of biotechnology, molecular biology, biological production and genetic engineering. Hope you have learned a lot in this lecture. Keep watching my videos. Thank you.